I'm Rick James. I don't want to spend a lot of time here, but I really want to stop and take a chance to comment on this whole Dave Chappelle situation going on right now because I have a lot of feelings. I want to establish this by saying my intention is to be fair to all parties involved. But I'm going to be honest here, I'm punching in all directions because everyone involved in this discussion is really irritating. I don't think Dave Chappelle is really that transphobic. As in, I don't think he has ill will towards the trans community in his heart. The same way not everyone who says something racist genuinely hates people of that race. But sometimes people say stupid things and that doesn't mean those comments are okay. The impact is always more important than the intention and while his intentions may be good, the impact is not. For one, I watched his special and it's genuinely funny in some places, but even when he's genuinely funny, it doesn't make jokes less offensive and no one is obligated to like them find them funny or stay silent and not criticize. I honestly was really frustrated when he said he didn't know what punching down even was, because that's absolutely a lie. You've been a comedian for more than a decade. Don't pretend you don't know what punching down is. The way he discusses transness is also really frustrating, because black trans people are entirely excluded from the conversation. He talks about the trans community like there's just no black trans people, and it's really frustrating because white trans people dominate this conversation even though Dave Chappelle can't really hurt them the way you can hurt black trans people. Most of the people murdered in transphobic violence are black women and the killers are mostly black men. So Dave Chappelle's jokes really do feel like punching down to black trans people when he's a cisgender, heterosexual, wealthy black man, when he's a member of the group most responsible for the violence that black trans women face when he occupies a place of privilege massively over trans people that's punching down especially when you consider that he complains that if you hurt a gay person's feelings you get more consequences than for killing a nigga dave the fucking baby is not emblematic of how the u.s prison system treats black men and you know that you know you're lying there are niggas in jail for murders they scientifically could not have even done most people in jail haven't even had a trial yet the baby is an outlier in the data set and no one tried to put him in a gulag for making shitty comments about gay people and AIDS. You know that virus that killed hundreds of thousands of queer people in the country, obliterated the LGBT rights movement and permanently traumatized a generation of queer people and forced the generations after our generation to rediscover queerness and transness basically alone. You know, the queer community that just got some of the civil rights we have in the last 10 years and is now set to lose them again. No one tried to kill the baby, but a lot of people publicly expressed not liking him and a lot of people no longer wanted to support him monetarily. That's their right. He's still rich. He's literally doing fine. Shut up about the baby. Your point makes no sense, especially when niggas are getting away with killing and beating black trans women constantly. Serial killers are targeting black trans people, and Dave Chappelle is saying that the trans community is too sensitive? Dude, come on, just say you can't handle people not liking you and move on. Stop acting like a child because people don't want to listen to a homophobic subpar rapper. Half of the men in that industry are like known creeps anyway, and they're fine. On top of that, the idea that his two white trans friends make his jokes acceptable is wild. It's literally the I have a black friend excuse. My trans friends found it funny. Okay, but that doesn't make it not transphobic automatically. How many black followers does Trump have again? That doesn't make him not racist. Which isn't to say you can't make jokes about trans people. You can. They can even be funny. But complaining about trans people finding your jokes transphobic and then doubling down on that like it's funny is not cool, especially when trans people around the world, including this country, are in danger of losing a lot of the rights that the Stonewall niggas he claims to respect, who were black and trans by the way, fought for. On top of that, his support for JK Rowling and saying he's on team turf is both stupid and offensive. For one, a lot of turfs are literally fascists and pal around with Nazis and white supremacist types. Pay attention! JK Rowling herself is not exactly innocent of being an obvious racist and anti-Semite. Secondly, what's irritating is that the turfism and transphobia in general find their basis in anti-blackness. Black women are more likely to have their womanhood challenged and historically weren't even considered women for a long time. 
During the civil rights movement, white women literally were using the same exact arguments and rhetoric used against trans people now to keep black women out of white women's spaces. And they still do. Look at what happens to black athletes when they perform a little too well. All of a sudden, they're questioning whether or not they're real women and testing their testosterone levels and doing all this stuff that they usually reserve for trans people. It's frustrating because Dave Chappelle is clearly not educated enough on trans issues to be having all these hot takes. He knows literally nothing. It feels like I'm talking to a child, but he's making these jokes and getting annoyed at people saying he's wrong and being angry. Just because you're a black man and you understand a black man's oppression does not make you qualified to speak on every minority issue, especially when you exclude black people from the conversation in a way that feels incredibly intentional because he talks about black gay people but never black trans people. And it's because if he acknowledges black trans people, his whole joke falls apart. He says that trans people are too sensitive nowadays, like, sir, I've been hate crimed more times than you've been on stage. Shut up. He says he respects Stonewall gays, not knowing that most of Stonewall's fighters were trans women, black and brown trans women like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson. Not only that, but the main people I see fighting for black men against police brutality now are black women and black trans people. And I'll speak from my own experience as someone who's been deeply involved in that movement. The way black men treat us trans comrades is disgusting. Black cis women too, actually. I can't tell you how many times I've stood on the front lines of these protests while literally being harassed and threatened by other black people for being trans. I've literally been called a fit in a tranny by my own black male comrades. And once someone yelled at me, you got a fat ass and titties, I don't know what the fuck you are. Another black person at a protest. And what I hate is that irritating white trans people don't consider black trans people in this conversation either. They're complaining about Dave Chappelle and at the same time, not including the main voices who have actual grievances with his jokes. Black trans women and black women in general are the main ones getting the backlash for coming out against him. And it needs to be said that what Dave is really doing here, probably unknowingly, is helping in the re is helping in the renormalization of transphobia in the workplace and in society in general. And that will not stay limited to transphobia if it continues. In the same year where far right terrorists stabbed two people at an anti-trans rally, Hate crimes of all crimes are still spiking, and trans people are having our bodily autonomy and right to exist in public spaces challenged. Dave's jokes aren't funny, they're annoying. And again, this isn't saying he can't make them or that Netflix should pull his show, but y'all need to understand that cancel culture is not when a large number of people don't like what you make and talk about it on Twitter. That's life. You aren't being canceled, you're an artist with a large audience, some of whom don't like what you do, and they're having discourse about it. On top of that, I cannot name a single person who's as famous as Dave Chappelle, who's actually been canceled. Instead, y'all get a million interviews and specials where you whine about being canceled. I'm being silenced, you cry to your hundreds of thousands of Twitter followers. This is cancel culture, you say as insert late night talk show host makes jokes with you and later pays you for appearing on their show. This is dangerous, you shout in your Netflix special. My life is being ruined, you say, tweeting from your million dollar mansions. There's no validity to any of this and it's childish to complain that there is, especially when you're excluding people from the conversation who actually can disagree with you best. Being trans is not some white people shit. And having a few white trans friends doesn't mean your transphobia is okay or has to be okay with everyone. Once again, not saying people can't make jokes about trans people. You can, and they can be funny. But no one is above criticism and you aren't as funny as you think regardless. Black trans people are in a weird sort of triple jeopardy when it comes to social issues. Black trans women are brutalized by police and the same system just like black men. Victims of patriarchy and misogyny just like cis women, and at the same time experiencing transphobia as a completely unique experience. We fold into every issue in a way that means we cannot be separated. Even just beyond trans people, a lot of the issues around transphobia rely on and expand our understanding of racism in these broader forms of oppression. This whole situation is nothing but childish and exclusionary tomfoolery. All of you are dumb and cancelled. Now let's all go back to whatever we were already doing like most cancelled people do.